Okay, hi everyone, I'm Jazz. I'm the digital editor here at Garnet. Uh, I'm coming at you today from my dining room to show you all of the digital assets of C21 for Digital Online Learning Day. Okay, so what is C21? Well, it is our general English course for study, work and life. There are five levels. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through level one, which is for A1 learners. Before we jump straight in, I'll just point out the C21 hub on the website has lots of academic skills resources, tests, you can download the audio and slideshows here, look at what components are involved, the titles, and there is also a video walkthrough of the ICB, um, which is the interactive course book, which is what we're gonna look at now. So here we are, we're going to be looking at the interactive course book, then we're gonna look at the digital workbook, and then finally, we're gonna look at uh, Quizlet. We have vocabulary sets over there that link up with C21, uh, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so let's dive straight into the interactive course book. So to access the ebook, I'm just gonna click this button right here and I already have an account. So here we are. As you can imagine, it's very easy to use at the top here. One handy tool is this browsing section where you can just zoom through the whole book as well as the contents page here, um, which is very handy. Let's just jump straight to unit one. There's lots of really cool features about this. You can obviously bookmark pages. They'll then show up in this bookmark section here. Um, I don't need to bookmark that. We're gonna take that away. And then you can also uh, scribble and do what you like with pens and stuff. And you can turn it from a highlighter into a regular pen with the opacity here. Um, we're gonna clear that because that note is not very profound. <laughs> you can also take notes. That is a super important note. Uh, and they will just appear there, I'm gonna delete that. Yeah, so that's the overall feature of the platform. Um, and then as you see here, there is the, there are these orange hotspots and this is what we like to call learning objects. This is what I work on quite a lot of the time. So in these, you have all of the embedded audio for the whole course as well as interactivities, we like to call them. <laughs> um, and so you've got lots of drag and drops, jumblies, just lots of fun activities. Okay, so I've come to just a random page to show you one. We're gonna show you this one here. This is kind of label the photos, so it's like a drag and drop. Uh, and you just have to label the things. So blonde hair, that's a headscarf. Um, glasses. What's a t-shirt? What am I doing? There we go. <laughs> um, I know that's pointing at his shirt. Tricky. Um, smashed it. Uh, so it's a kind of nice example. And then at the bottom here, I just clicked check answers and then you can just reset as well. And then if you exit out of that and then go back in, all of your answers will still be saved with session retention. So that's very handy. Okay, so that about sums it up for the uh, interactive course book. I obviously haven't gone into that much detail, but hopefully given you a little taster of what you could expect. Uh, and if you did want a more in-depth review, uh, and overview, you can go here and watch this video overview. Okay, so let's move on to the digital workbook. So there are three options really for digital workbooks. The first one is a SCORM package for LMS, and you would use this if you were an institution um, and you wanted to plug the workbook into your LMS, you'd choose that option. The second option is online single user. And then the third option is download. And that's what I'm gonna be walking you through today. This is offline use. You can download it, run it locally from your computer, put it on a stick. It's for PC and Macs and let's take you through it. So when you load it, it will load like this. You can customize your name. We are, let's change to a more formal Jasmine. Um, there we go. Um, so this button here shows you your scorecard and you can actually export and save that as a PDF as well. So it tracks your turns as you're going through the workbook. Here we have units one to 12 and they're all laid out with ABC. Let's just take you through, give you a little bit of an, an idea of what the format looks like. So here it is when you go through into a unit, they all appear at the side as well and they will bungee out like that. So this one is underline the odd word out. Iraq, Chinese, Spanish, Indian. Iraq is a country. Madrid, Beijing, Ethiopian, Tokyo. Ethiopian, Baghdad, Taiwanese, Muscat, Taiwanese. Indian, Qatari, Spain, Polish. Uh, Japan, Oman, Brazil, Egyptian. 
Well, let me smash that. We have. So you submit your answers, you check your answers, and then for the workbook, you can see your answers as well. Um, see what you got wrong. You can reset and you can go to the next one. So this one's a jumbly, quite like a jumbly. Is Rio de Janeiro the capital of Brazil? No. Let's just take these all. Um, okay, I got four out of 12 on that attempt. <laughs> um, but we got the first one right and I will not bother to show you the rest. When you're done, you can quit. You can see your scores. You see there, I didn't do too well on C. Apparently, I have to go back and try that one again. Yeah, there's lots of flexibility in terms of the workbook. Uh, and it works really well. Okay, so the third asset I'm gonna show you is Quizlet. Uh, and Quizlet's quite a new partnership for us. You can find out more about it on this link on our website. So here's our page on Quizlet. Um, all of the books here, um, all of the word lists will be made into sets um, and they're integrated in. So the word list will reflect the sets on Quizlet, like great resource there for you to practice your vocabulary. Um, and so all of these at the moment are English for specific academic skills books, but C21, is coming and I'll give you a bit of a behind the scenes, if you will, uh, and show you that now. Hi, Future Jazz here, just interrupting past jazz. Um, I thought I would show you Quizlet on the desktop before I hop on and then show you Quizlet using the app on my phone, because there's some really cool features on the desktop. So the first thing I want to show you is Gravity, uh, which is a really fun game. And so all your vocab comes crashing down and you've got to figure it out in time, a place where children learn from teachers. It's a school. <laughs> a hobby or thing you find interesting? A hobby? Oh, what? Interest. Oh, I can't, I didn't start it. Oh, okay, let's, let's move on from that. I would, could get stuck doing that for days. <laughs> the last thing I just wanted to touch on was a really cool collaborative classroom game. So it's Quizlet Live and I can't show you it because I'm on my own, but it's a really cool way to get lots of students involved. So if you are using Quizlet, definitely have a look into Quizlet Live and our vocab will be there too. So yeah, it's really cool. Okay, passing it back off to pass jazz to show you through Quizlet on the phone. Okay, so let's go straight into unit one. So you can learn them, you can do flashcards, you can write them or match them, you can test yourself. It's a really great platform. Um, and then if you scroll down at the bottom here, all of them appear. Um, so let's just do the flashcards. Um, that is actually my voice and I don't want to hear that. I'm already listening to myself speak. So I'm going to turn off the audio. Um, you can have the definition if you wanted to test yourself on the definition or the term. Um, yeah, it's very handy. You swipe left if you need to study it again or if you've got it, you swipe right. So I think I've got that one. Business, a buying and selling activity. Now I'll come back to that. Capital city, the city where a country's government is. Yep. Car, it's a good car. Celebration, etc., etc. So it's really handy. It's very like easy to just use on the go, and especially if you're already using C twenty one in your class, this is a great like asset because there are lots of games and kind of class activities you can do with Quizlet. So we are working at the moment actually on all of the C twenty one levels. So you know, keep your eyes peeled for those. Uh, so yeah, that's Quizlet. It's a really great integration um, and a partnership we're really excited about. Okay, yeah, so that about sums up C21. Um, you can find out more information by going to guneducation.com forward slash C21. Um, there's a hub of resources here um, and you can see what it all includes um, and which levels you might need. Thanks for watching. I hope this was interesting. I hope this was a level of fun. Um, I hope you enjoy C21.